Overwhelming heat, we're dealing with serious risk of heat stroke. Here are the signs, the symptoms, how to prevent and treat it in your dog. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. So it's getting hot out right now. You and I, what can we do? We sweat. We have sweat glands all over our body. You see my forehead sometimes sweating in these videos. It's getting hot in this room, right? I've got them sweating. But guess what? Our dogs, man, they have some sweat glands here and their pads. A little bit on the end of their nose. Not much else. The only way Pippi can cool herself is by doing that. It's panting. It's not near as efficient as having all those sweat glands. Heat stroke can happen in as short as 15 minutes where your dog's body temperature rises to 41 degrees Celsius, that's 106 degrees Fahrenheit. When your dog's body temperature gets this high, you see serious changes in the body. It can affect the brain, it can affect all the organs, all the proteins in the body, they literally just dissolve. First thing you're going to see is a dog that is excessively panting. Often they have this very thick, ropey saliva. If you lift up your dog's lips and look at their gums, it'll be dark red, purple, blue, or even pale. It'll be a marked increase in your dog's heart rate. This can then progress to GI signs, vomiting or vomiting diarrhea. These guys can seem really dizzy or confused. You might see muscle tremors, seizures. Your dog might completely collapse. In some cases, even go completely unconscious. Most of us are gonna suspect heat stroke. You know, it's really hot outside. Say your dog's been running, he's now excessively panting, he just can't cool down, thick ropey saliva. Yeah, your dog's likely got heat stroke or about to get heat stroke. So now what, like what do you do? First, remove your dog from the heat. Get your dog out of the car, get her out of the hot sun. Pick her up, get her away from the heat. Number two, you're gonna gradually lower your dog's body temperature. If you have a hose, mist your dog all over, you know, from the head to the tail, especially focusing on the groin. It doesn't hurt to mist yourself. Get yourself some cold water, a wet cloth. If you don't have access to a hose, moisten a towel and cover your dog with that wet, cool water. The groin has a large blood supply, no fur. It can rapidly speed cooling. I've got this ice pack from the fridge. I'm going to wrap it with a tea cloth. Let's cool you off, pipster. There, that's gonna cool you down. Make sure you're offering your dog some water. Try to get him or her to drink. Here, Pipster. And if you have one, get yourself a fan. Get that on your dog. Moving that cool air onto your dog will dramatically increase the rate of cooling. Don't wrap a wet towel around your dog. That can actually slow the rate of cooling. And don't be immersing your dog in ice water. When you do that, it can actually cause this vasoconstriction. You can actually delay the cooling. Then get to an emergency veterinarian as soon as possible. And while you're transplanting your dog, make sure the air conditioner is on. You've got that wet towel in their groin to help cool them, but don't delay. Just do whatever you can to avoid heat stroke. You know, don't exercise your dog in the heat. Stay out of the heat as much as possible. Lots of water, air conditioning as possible. Just be really smart about it. Thanks for watching you guys. I'll talk to you again soon. It's Dr. Jones.